If you can, because here he is again, right out of the pages of Archie Comics Magazine with all his gang, Archie Andrews! <laughs> well, as we pay our weekly visit to the friendly little town of Riverdale, we find Archie and his bosom companion, Jughead, walking down the street on a very, very important mission. It seems the boys are going... Swimming. Boy, what a day for swimming. Yeah. I can hardly wait to get to that diving board, Jug. I can see me now, sailing high into the air as I perform a graceful swan dive. Archie, you always hold your nose and jump in, and you know it. Jug, I'm one of the best... Uh-oh, what's the matter? Here comes Butch McGonagall. Gee, let's cross the street. Two ladies seen us. Oh, gee whiz. Be careful, Archie. Ah, quit worrying, Jug. I'm not afraid of that Butch McGonagall. Not the least hey, bit you. afraid. Hey, you. Hello, Butch. Hello, Butch. Hello, Butch what? Uh, uh, hello, Butch, sir. That's better. Archie, I thought you said... Jug, Jug for gosh sake, be quiet. Why should he be quiet? <laughs> no reason, Butch. What, are you bullying or something? Oh, no, sir, no, sir. If anybody's going to do any bullying around here, it'll be me. You know what I mean? Yes, Butch. Okay. Now, Jughead, go ahead and talk all you want. Okay, I... That's get... enough. Now, what's the big secret going on around here anyways? Secret? You heard me. What was this trip going to say that you wouldn't let him say? Come on. Well, he was going to say that... Butch, let go of my tie. Come on. Well, he was going to say that I'm uh, not afraid of you. Oh. So you're not afraid of me, huh? Oh, but I would just... Oh, my nose. And next oh. time, don't be so oh. smart, see? Oh. So long, wise guy. Oh. So long, Butch. Sir. Oh, fine friend you are, Jug. Why didn't you do something when he socked me? I did. What? I winced. <laughs> That's a lot of help. Uh, but, Jug, I'm not going to take this lying down. Help me up. Here. Uh, thanks. Yes, sir, I'm going to fix that, Butch. Yes, sir. He's going to regret this day. I'll fix him. Gee whiz, Archie. What are you going to do? What am I going to do, Jug? What any full-blooded man would do in my place. Go to the library for a book on boxing. <laughs> Jug, just listen to this. It says, A good boxer knows how to defend himself at all times. The best offense in the world is useless without a good defense. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense. It says... Take a position as shown in the illustration. Hmm. That's like this, I guess. Yeah. In that position, you are invulnerable. See, Jug, already I'm invulnerable. Is that good? Of course it's good. Boy, oh boy. Wait till I meet that butch again. Archie! Archie! What you doing? Oh, hi, Betty. I'm busy. Now, it says here... Mind if I sit down? No, go ahead. Now, it says here, Jug... Move over, that... Jug. Okay. The boxer is now able to parry a blow from any direction whatsoever. Gee whiz, let's try it, Jug. I'm tired. Oh, come on, Jug. Just stand here for a minute, can't you? No. Gosh, you're a lot of help, you are. Can I help, Archie? Oh, no, you can... Hey, yeah. I guess you could at that. Okay. What do I do? Well, you stand here and put your hands up like mine are. Yeah, that's right. Now, try and hit me. Oh, but I don't want to fight. Oh, I'm not going to fight with you, Betty. I just want you to try and hit me. But I might hurt you. Oh, Betty, don't be silly. You won't even come near me. I'm invulnerable. Now, go ahead. Swing hard. Well, okay. Ooh. Archie. Speak to me. Gee whiz. Oh, well, I'm all right, I guess. But, Betty, would you do me a favor? Yes, Archie. Take this book and throw it in the ash can. As 
Simmons, take your letter. Hobar Manufacturing Company. Gentlemen, in re yours of the... Oh, good grief. It's all right. I'll get it. Hello? Fred? Oh, <laughs> hello, dear. Fred, you'd better be home early tonight. Uh, why? What's up? Mrs. Lodge is coming over. Mrs. Lodge? That old bat... Oh, you mean about our joining the country club? Yes, dear. Gosh, are we accepted? Well, not yet, dear. This is an interview tonight. Oh, interview? Yes, you know how fussy they are. Mrs. Lodge has to get all the facts. Facts? But that old witch knows more about us than I do. Yes, but Mrs. Lodge says we still must have a formal interview. All right, Mary. If she wants to be fancy about this, we'll be fancier. We'll put on the Ritz for her till she thinks she's interviewing Mrs. Astor's pet horse. <laughs> Jug, the time has come. For what? For me to find that butch and show him a thing or two. I know everything that book says. Yeah, but look what Betty did to you. Well, that's because I'd read only the first chapter. Now, I'm a finished fighter. Finished is right. Never mind, come on. Okay, it's your funeral. Yes, sir, I'll show him. I'll faint with my left, then I'll faint with my right, then he'll cross with his left, and you'll faint all over. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, listen, I can... Archie! Archie ain't through. Oh, golly, Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Archie. Where y'all all going on? Well? Oh, are you finished? <laughs> I thought there was one more all. <laughs> Silly boy. <laughs> what you doing, Archie? Hmm? I'm looking for Butch McGonagall. For Butch? Why? To settle the score, Veronica. The way real he-men do. My goodness, you mean a fight? That's right. A fight to the end. But, Archie, dear, you're so handsome. So what? So good-looking. So what? Your face is so young and gay. So what? And Butch is going to make such a mess of it. So uh, Veronica, don't talk that way. Well, he will. Butch is awful tough. Yes, but I'm tougher. I come from fighting stock. Really? Sure. My grandfather used to fight with my grandmother all the time. Well, Archie, I had no idea you were so brave. Brave isn't the word for it, Veronica. I'm obnoxious. Also delirious. Anyway, I'm a great fighter. Well, in that case, Archie, you should fight the masked marvel. The... The, the what? The masked marvel. He's appearing in Riverdale tonight and offering a hundred dollars to anybody who can knock him out in three rounds. Well, gee whiz, I hadn't heard about it. Well, of course. Come on, Archie. I'll drive you down to the gym and you can sign up right away. Okay, I... Huh? Oh, oh no, Veronica. I'd love to, really. I'd like to very much, but... Well, I, I, I can't sign up to fight the masked marvel. Why not? I don't have a pencil. Archie, the trouble with you is you're so modest. <laughs> so retiring. <laughs> so, so unassuming <laughs> And uh, since I haven't anything else to do, Archie, dear <laughs> I'll stop by the gym and edit your name But I better hurry Bye now Bye, Veronica Chuck, did you hear that? She said that I'm... <gasps> Sign up! Me? Veronica, come back! Veronica! Oh, Jughead, won't I ever learn to keep my big mouth shut? Oh, why did I ever get mixed up with fighting the masked marvel? Oh, Joe, give me another chocolate soda. Me too, Joe. Jughead, what'll I do? Why don't you tell them you don't want to fight? I can't do that, Jug. Not after I told Veronica what a great fighter I am and she entered my name to fight the masked marvel. Well, if I try to get out of it now, Veronica will never talk to me again. Yeah. And if I go through with the fight, nobody will ever talk to me again. Yeah. And I'm too young to die. Yeah. I got everything to live for. Yeah. I haven't done a thing to deserve this fate. Yeah. Jug, what'll I do? Bet a lot of money on the masked marvel. Why? You might as well die rich. <laughs> Jughead, you're no help at all. In fact, you're just uh, a... Pardon uh, me. Is here they're serving chocolate sodas? Yeah, right here. Jug, I want I'm you I to... love chocolate sodas. Well, that's fine. Jug, I got to tell you... You're living in this city. 
Yes, I do. Jug, now I'm when a I... stranger here. Well, that's fine. Now, Jug, what I want. All morning to... I'm that... looked for a place that is sell chocolate sodas. Look, Mister, I don't know who you are, but uh, I permit want... me to Just... make introduction of myself. Uh... They are called me the Masked Marvel. Well, that's fine. My friend and I are very busy, and we just... Huh? Why? Oh, the Masked Marvel. But did you say your name was the Masked Marvel? That's right. Only without the mask. This is my real face. How can you tell? Well, gee whiz. Chuck, did you hear that? <laughs> this is the Masked Marvel. Gee whiz. I hope I'm not intruding. Intruding? Oh, no, no, not at all, Mr. Marvel. Not at all. In fact, fate sent you to me. Yes, sir. Sit right down, Marvel. Sit right down. Andrews is my name, Archie Andrews. How do you do? We're shake hands, yes? Oh, yes, by all means. <coughs> Yo! Marvel, don't do that. Oh. I'm sorry. I am not know my own strength. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> You uh, say you like chocolate sodas? That's right. I love chocolate sodas. Archie, we'd better get out of here. Not on your life, Chuck. This is my big chance. Well, they have fine sodas here, Marvel. The best in town, don't they, Jug? I said, don't they, Jug? Ouch. Yes, they have fine sodas. See, Marvel? Sit down. Oh, Joe, two chocolate sodas. Make it a double chocolate for my friend. What is double chocolate? Oh, that means an extra shot of chocolate syrup. I mm, love chocolate syrup. Uh, Joe, make it a triple chocolate soda. What is triple? That means three shots of chocolate. Mm, I love chocolate syrup. Uh, uh, Joe, make it a glass of chocolate syrup. <laughs> straight. What is straight? Oh, that means without any seltzer. You don't want them putting any water in that delicious chocolate syrup. Mm, I love chocolate syrup. Archie, are you quiet, Jug? Ah, here we are, Marvel. A soda for me and a glass of lovely chocolate syrup for you. Drink up. <coughs> Marvel, did you finish that glass of syrup already? I mm, love chocolate syrup. <laughs> oh, brother. Uh, how do you feel? Hungry. What? Well, uh, Marvel, I'll order you a Special American dish. I mm, love special American dishes. Yes, you love this. Uh, uh, Joe, give my friend one large buttered pickle. Yes, you heard me. What is buttered pickle? Oh, you'll see, Marvel. You'll love it. It's a favorite food in this country. Lots of people eat it. Yeah, and they're all in straitjackets. <laughs> Jug, quiet. Ah, there you are, Marvel. Now, doesn't that look good? Da, da. Help yourself. Mm, good, good. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, put a little salt and pepper on it. It's better that way. Mm, better, better. Well, Marvel, how do you feel now? I, 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 ay, 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 ay. Well, it finally worked, Jug. Archie, where's your handlebar mustache? Oh, it was a dirty trick, Jug, but it's a case of survival of the fittest. And I don't think the masked marvel is very fit anymore. Well, what do you want? I uh, wanted to get some information about the fight tonight. Why? Well, I'm Archie Andrews. I understand my name has entered to fight the marvel. Archie Andrews? Why, well, yeah, he... What? You're Archie Andrews? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? And you expect to stay three rounds with the Marvel? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. The fans like to see a little bloodshed. And I guess you've got some. Some what? Blood. Oh, fine. Pardon me. Hello? Who? Marvel? What? Sick? But Marvel, you got to fight to... What? But Marvel, listen. Hello? Hello? Oh, for God's sake. That stupid ape. Do you know what he's done? What? Gone and got sick, that's what. Oh, is that so? And the tickets all sold out. And the fight was going to be broadcast. Well, oh, gee, that's too bad. I'll have to call the whole thing off. Oh, what wouldn't I give for another fighter? Well, Archie, we might as well... Wait a minute. I got an idea, Jug. Jug, come back here. Archie, you've had enough ideas for one day. But this one is colossal. Mister, just what would you give for another fighter? 
What would I give? Anything. Name it and it's yours. My life. My fortune. Twenty bucks. It's a deal. I got just the guy for you. He can wear the same outfit the masked marvel wears and nobody will ever know the difference. Yeah, but can he fight? Can he fight? He's a wildcat, isn't he, Jug? Yeah. He's a killer, isn't he, Jug? Yeah. He's a madman in the ring, isn't he, Jug? Yeah. Great. What's his name? Jughead Jones, isn't it, Jug? Yeah. Why? <laughs> But Archie... Okay, it's a deal. Here's the 20. Sold. Your fighter will be here at 8 o'clock. So long. Archie, I am positively not... Judd, so... don't be silly. There's nothing to be afraid of. You'll be in the ring with me. Gee, that's right. I get a chance to impress Veronica, and you get 20 bucks. Well, okay. a boy. But let me see the money. Oh, here you are. Archie, that's only 10. Well, naturally, as your manager, I get half, don't I? Archie, somehow the odds are always against me. Now, Mary, all we have to do is follow my plan and our worries will be over. Plan? Exactly. I want to get into that country club once and for all if it's the last thing I do. Why, do you realize what it would mean to my business, to our social standing, to, 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 to everything? Oh, yes, dear, I do. Good. Now, then, here's what we do. You get out your evening gown and my tuxedo. But, well, what on earth for? To impress Mrs. Lodge. Oh. And, and we'll fix the place up fancy. Candles on the dining room table. Uh -huh. uh, uh, good books lying all around the room, casually. Um, everything soft and refined. Oh, I see. Uh, Mrs. Lodge will think she's on Park Avenue. Of course, there is just one hitch. Yes? Uh, where is Archie? Oh, he just phoned to say he won't be home for dinner. Why, Mary, that's fine. In fact, that makes everything just perfect. <laughs> Good evening, folks. This is Ken McCarthy, about to bring you the big fight. The masked marble against the local contender. Uh, what's that name, Joe? Oh, yes. Archie Andrews, the Riverdale Killer. The referee is in the ring, and yes, here comes Killer Andrews now. Andrews is climbing through the ropes. He bows to the crowd. He's waving to somebody. Oh, yes, to the girlfriend sitting at the ringside. Ah, there's one thing you have to say for this Andrews. For a fellow who's going up against the mass marble, he's showing a lot of self-confidence. Yes, sir, plenty of confidence. Well, Jones, all set? Yes, sir. Okay, now put on this mask and hood the marble wears, and whatever you do, don't take it off. Yes, sir. I was just Whoa, going... Whoa, what are you doing? Marvel, what are you doing here? I thought you were sick. I was, but I'm better now. Oh, that's wonderful. Terrific, in fact. How did you recover so quickly? I found out what was wrong with me. And what was wrong? I was only hungry. <laughs> Gee whiz. Well, I'm glad you got here. You get into your mask quick. They're waiting. Well, Jones, what are you looking so scared about? You don't have to fight now. I know, but I'm thinking about a guy who does. <laughs> Dear, I just want to wish you luck before the fight. Oh, gee, that's sweet of you, Veronica. And, and I want to tell you, I'm terribly, terribly proud of you. Gee, thanks. Oh, look, here comes the masked marvel now. Just look at those muscles and those shoulders and those legs. I'm still looking at those muscles. He's terribly husky. Yeah, he does seem to have gained weight. Who? Uh, ju I, I, I mean, the marble. Oh, the referee's calling me, Veronica. I gotta get out there. Okay, Archie, good luck. Andrews and the marble are in the center of the ring. They shake hands. The referee is giving them final instructions. Now, as I look at the two men, this fight sizes up as a contest of age, weight, and experience against you, ambition, and uh, ignorance. Well, the fight is on. They look at each other, spar for openings, just feeling each other out. The marvel paints with the left and throws a savage white to Andrew's chin. And Andrew staggers back on his heels. The crowd grows wild. Jug, for God's sake, take it easy. Uh, you want to hurt me or something? Isn't 
this exciting, Veronica? Oh, yes, it is, Betty. Hi, Betty. Hi, Veronica. Oh, hello, Jug. Can I sit here with you? Of course, Jug. But shouldn't you be in Archie's corner? Betty, I don't think Archie would be glad to see me now. Jughead, for gosh sake, take it easy. Oh, oh don't you think that hurt? Oh, Jug! Do you have to hit so hard? Oh, don't answer that question. Boxing fans, so far the Andrews boy is being cautious, just feeling out the masked marble. The marble throws a left at Andrews nose, a right to Andrews stomach. Andrews is cautious. The marble crosses with a right to Andrews head, a left to Andrews eye. Andrews is cautious. The marble jabs with his left, then throws a right. Andrews is cautious. The marble sends a stiff right to Andrews chin. Andrews is cautious. Another stiff right. Andrews is wobbly. He's going down. No, he's staying up. No, he's going down. He's weaving like a pendulum. The masked marble is moving in for the kill. Andrews is backing away and fires the bell, ending round one. My goodness. I don't think Archie did so well. He certainly didn't. Look at him. Jug, go see if you can help him. I don't know, Veronica. Go ahead, Jug. He's all in. Well, okay. Hey, Archie, Archie, how you doing? Well, hi, Jug. Uh, doing okay, I guess. I can't see him. I, I don't understand it. I, I didn't know Jug could hit so hard. <gasps> Jughead, what, what are you doing here? I, I mean, who is that over there? <gasps> oh, Jug, tell me it isn't so. Not... It oh. is. Oh, you mean... You mean I'm fighting the real masked marvel? You're sure not fighting me. Oh, but I can't, Jug. I mean the marvel. You better get I out mean... there, Archie. Yeah, but Jug... Yeah? Tell my folks I died bravely, will you? Oh, uh, by the by, Mrs. Lodge, terribly sorry my son isn't here, but he sends his regrets. He had to, uh, <laughs> that, that is, he, he was going to, uh, 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 uh marry, darling? Uh, uh, yes, darling. Just where did the boy say he was going? Uh, to a lecture, I believe. Ah, yes, a lecture. A very intellectual boy, Archie. But then, uh, why shouldn't he be? <laughs> yes, why? <laughs> yes. Um, how am I doing? Fine, darling. Oh, uh, darling, why don't you, uh, turn on some music? I believe the opera is on. Father, conversation is always so charming with music. Don't you agree, Mrs. Lodge? Oh, yes, Mrs. Lodge. We always listen to the opera. <laughs> now, about your charming country club, Mrs. Lodge, I was wondering if the there had... Been... Oh, my Mary, you've got some prize fights. See if you can get some music. Oh, I do Andrews detest prize fights, Mrs. Lodge, don't you? There's something crude and cheap about... Pra- Andrews? Did he say Andrews? Oh, no, Mary. It, oh, it, 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 it must be some other Andrews. Mary. Mary, for gosh sake, turn that confounded thing off. I mean, uh, darling, stop the radio, will you please? Uh, just, uh, so, oh... Uh, Mrs. Lodge, where are you going? Mrs. Lodge, I'm sure I can explain it. Oh, well, I've never in all my life been so embarrassed, Fred. Uh, Fred, where are you going? Mary, if that boy of mine wants to fight, I'll give him something to fight about. They're in a clinch now in Andrew's corner. Andrew's is hanging on for dear life. He won't let go. What? What are you doing this now? Not yet, Judge. I got an idea. For God's sake, Archie, no more ideas. This one will work, Judge. Andrews, let me go and fight. What's the rush, Marvel? Going to get another chocolate soda? Oh, please don't talk about chocolate sodas. A nice, syrupy chocolate soda? Just think, Marvel. Andrews, shut up. What's wrong with a lovely, gooey glass of chocolate syrup? Oh, you are giving me a bellyache. Stop it. With chocolate ice cream. Archie, let me go in the towel. Nothing doing, Jug. Not until I try the old one-two like it said in that book. Folks, something is going on up there. Something very strange in that ring. Something mighty strange. They've broken out of that clinch. Now they're in an argument. They're shouting at each other. This is really a grudge fight. Uh Uh-uh. The marvel dropped his guard. He's holding his stomach. He seems to have... Wait a minute. Andrew sees his chance. He's moving in. A left to Marvel's chin. A right to the heart. A left. Another right. And Marvel goes down. Marvel is out cold. The referee is counting. But wait a minute. 
Andrews is collapsed too. The referee doesn't know who to count out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is prize fight history. <laughs> Another bucket of water on him, Jug. Okay, stand back. Where? What happened? Where is he? Where? Is he? Where? Where? You're in your dressing room, Archie. How do you what? feel? I don't. Is, is, is the fight over? Where is he? It sure is. Oh, there you are, young man. But the next round is just beginning. Hello, Mr. Andrews. Hello, Jughead, Veronica. I would like to see Archie alone, if you don't mind. We were just leaving, Mr. Andrews. Bye, Archie. Good luck, Archie. Hello, Dad. What are you doing here? Young man, at the moment, I am much more interested in what you are doing here. Well, Dad, you Young see, man, I happen to you've get... been through some pretty fantastic and asinine escapades. Uh, yes, but, but Dad, none I... of them has ever been more embarrassing to your mother and myself than this. Uh, yes, but I Dad, have you don't never understand. in all my I... life heard of such ridiculous and stupid behavior. Yes, but Dad, if you I have just... talked to you and warned you and tried to advise you, but all to no avail. So this time, Archie, this time I intend well, to take that steps. Feel okay? Well, yes, I, I guess Good. so. Good. Well, I just wanted to tell you that in all my years in the fight game, I've never seen anything like that waltz tonight. Well, yes, I know. I, Do I... me a favor, will you? Yes. Don't ever show your face around here again. Here's your money. Goodbye. Now, you see, Archie, just what I was telling you when that man came in here and... and uh, Archie... Did he say money? Uh-huh. What money? The money for knocking out that guy, the, the masked marvel, Dad. See? One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars? Yeah, that's right, Dad. But uh, what was that you were about to say? Me? Oh, well, Archie, I, I, was, about to, uh, I was about to say that, uh, I mean... Uh, uh, hundred dollars just for one evening's work, eh? Uh, well, uh, oh, I was about to say, son, that there is nothing more important than the manly art of self-defense. Archie Andrews and all the gang. Written by Carl Jampel and based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics magazine. Archie is played by Bob Hastings, Jughead by Harlan Stone. The part of Clem McCarthy was played by Clem McCarthy. Others in the cast include Alice Yerman, Ian Martin, Gloria Mann, and Rosemary Rice, Felix McGuire at the organ. And now back to Archie. Archie, did you ever settle your score with Butch? Well, Veronica... Yes and no. Yes and no? Yeah, after the fight with the masked marvel, I decided to teach Butch a lesson. Well, how'd you make out? Well, not so good. You know that book I read? Yes. Butch's uncle wrote it. Listen next week for more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. And if you'd like to see our show, just write to Archie Andrews, NBC, Radio City 20, New York City. That's Archie Andrews, NBC, Radio City 20, New York City. Or if you live nearby and are in the neighborhood some Saturday morning, you may obtain tickets right at the studio. Just ask to see Archie Andrews. And now this is Bob Sherry wishing you a very pleasant weekend. So long! This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.